Hello and welcome to The Developer Show. This is your TLDR. Learn to use the Google Play Developer Console to understand how players are progressing, spending, and churning with this new sample game. Produced with the help from Oxbrain, developer of Zombie Highway 2, it uses randomized and anonymized data from a real game. Now, if you use Google Plus features with your Play Games permissions, check out this blog post for changes that could impact you. We're taking steps to reduce sign-in friction and unnecessary permission requests by moving the game's APIs to a new model. Android Marshmallow introduced several changes that were designed to help your app look after user data. To help you make use of those changes, this post highlights the key considerations for user trust when it comes to runtime permissions and hardware identifiers. Check it out. Now, if you're a student who loves to code or has a great idea for a mobile app, the AdMob Student App Challenge is your chance to build an app learn how to make money from it, and win awesome prizes, which include a week-long trip to San Francisco and a visit to the Googleplex. App Invites is an out-of-the-box solution for conducting app referrals and encouraging sharing. Here's some details on how two apps, Fabulous and Yumly, used App Invites to grow their user base. Also in the case study category, it turns out design matters. Check out this new video with WeGo and learn how they increased monthly user retention by 300% and reduced uninstall rates by up to 25% with material design. Now this is a really cool article from Google Research on mastering the ancient game of Go with machine learning. Using a sing single machine, AlphaGo won all but one of its 500 games against several top Go programs. So, you know, they went ahead and challenged the reigning three-time European Go champion, an elite professional player who has devoted his life to Go since the age of 12. Check out the article to see how that match turned out. Cloud9 is a development environment in the cloud, and you can now easily create a new Cloud9 workspace connected with a Google Cloud Platform project. It comes pre-installed with a Cloud SDK and G Cloud command line tool and allows you to build and deploy your app to Google App Engine directly within the IDE. The Chrome 48 beta includes a new security panel in DevTools that makes deploying HTTPS easier. The security panel displays connection information for every network request, demystifying the connection errors that keep you away from the green lock that represents a secure connection. Oh, and if you didn't know already, Android Studio is faster. Here's Ray Meyer to tell you more. Hey, get back to work. Building and deploying. Oh, well, then download Android Studio 2.0 and your incremental builds will be instant. Who's doing what now? Don't let this happen to you. I'm Rado Maya, and this is Who's Doing What Now. As developers, we all know that the number one excuse for legitimately slacking off is building and deploying your app. Until now, hitting build and run was an opportunity to take a break, grab some coffee, catch up on the news, or look at some cats. Now, thanks to the Android Studio team, those glory days are over. Android Studio 2.0 has arrived with a new incremental build feature, which makes your builds now take seconds instead of minutes. When you first run your app, the normal compile, dex, package, deploy, install, and run steps all happen as normal, though much faster thanks to significant improvements to dex, prograd, shrinker, and ADB. From then on, pressing instant run will deploy your changes directly into the running app, and Android Studio will update your application logic and resources, so you can see the changes appear near instantly. This feature is designed to be magical, so you stay in the flow while coding, building, and running your app. No more breaks in concentration, waiting around, or switching contexts. It works with the emulator, physical devices, and it works all the way back to API 15. Developers reducing their average build and deploy cycles, staying in the zone, and increasing productivity. That's who's doing what now. Get back to work. Running the test suite. Oh. Carry on. And that's your developer show for this week. Remember to use the hashtag AskDevShow to get your questions answered. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the show every week. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next time.